الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد The question is asking here about this hadith من صلى ليراي من صلى ليراي الناس فقد أشرك This is a hadith which has been reported in Musad Ahmed and the ulama have said that this hadith is da'if and this is including the view of Sheikh Al-Rabani rahimahullah because of the presence of a person called Shahr Ibn Mahoshab and this person is da'if and there are other reasons why this hadith is da'if however the meaning is definitely sahih the messenger of Allah is saying in this hadith or has been attributed to him that he has said وسلم, in this hadith that whoever prays for the sake of showing people then that person has done an act of shirk Riya, what is Riya? Riya is when a person does good deeds for the sake of people seeing him doing those good deeds. He's not doing it for the sake of Allah. He's doing it so that people can see him. Now the question is asking about the grading of this hadith, but he's also asking about uh, Riya itself. Is it major kufr or is it minor kufr? Now the ulama have said that there are two types of Riya. The first riya, which is the riya of major kufr. And this is exactly what the people of Nifaq were upon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in describing the people of Nifaq. وَإِذَا قَامُوا إِلَى الصَّلَىٰ In Surah An-Nisa, when they stand for salah. قَامُوا kusala, They stand lazily. They're not paying attention. They're not standing with respect and obedience. They don't even know what they're reciting probably. Ruku is fast, sujood is fast. Salaam alaikum. They stand lazily. They don't really want to pray. This is an example of the munafiqun who are upon major kufr. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, So then why do they pray? They only pray so that people can see them praying. They don't mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala illa qalila, except for a little bit. So therefore, the ulama have mentioned that this is a major form of kufr, major form of shirk, major form of nifaq, and this is an example of riya. But another example of riya is when a person does the deed for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he does it also for the sake of the creation. Or, all of his deeds are generally for the sake of Allah, but sometimes something might creep in, in where he is doing things for the sake of the creation. This is a minor form of shirk. But it doesn't expel a person from the fold of Islam. Akhwafuma akhafu alaykum. He says for the the, the ummah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the thing I fear for you the most, a shirk al khafi, the hidden shirk. So the companions asked, what is the hidden shirk? And then he explained, al riya, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In another hadith, in hadith Qudsi, man amila aman al ashraq fihi ghairi, anyone who does an action where he is. Uh, making partners in his intention with me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَأَنَا مِنْهُ I am completely disassociated from that person and that action. And in another narration, تَرَكْتُهُ وَالشِّرْقُ I have left him and I have left the partners that he is doing it for. In another hadith, and this is in Bukhari, a Muslim messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ uh, when Samma Allah whoever wants for the sake of reputation, that does a deed for the sake of reputation, Allah will expose him. Whoever does an action for the sake of showing off, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will expose that person. Therefore, this is something that the Muslim has to correct on a regular basis with every single action. He needs to rectify his intention. And make sure that he is doing things to please Allah. Any action, whether it's a big one or a small one, whether it's an apparent act of goodness or not, to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and attain his jannah. And when a person does that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him qubool with himself and he will give him qubool with the malaika and he will give him qubool and acceptance on earth. Therefore he will attain the acceptance of the people anyway. But if he does these to accept the acceptance of the people, Allah will be angry with him. The malaika will be angry with him and he will not find acceptance with the people. So then what was the point? We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives us the best of intentions and he makes us sincere in all of our actions.